In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new parts fetch system that is built into the Lizzie uh, BMS system. Um, we have taken uh, parts lookup to a whole new level with parts fetch. Um, we now not only are able to look up uh, parts images and, and do the, the things that you can do in a lot of the other systems that are out there, but parts fetch is actually completely aware of the environment that you're in. So it knows what customer you're looking at. It knows what their pricing matrix is. So it, it's giving you specific pricing for that customer when you're working with them. Um, it's aware of the invoice you're on. It's aware of the jobs that you may have been uh, calling parts fetch. Um, so there's a, there's a ton of integration um, between parts fetch and Lizzie that just does not exist with any of the other solutions that are out there today. So, as an example, I am looking at a service ticket inside of Lizzie, and I've got a customer selected here that belongs to the service ticket. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the global parts fetch icon, which is up here at the top. And this basically is, um, I don't care about the invoice, I just want to open parts fetch. Um, and from here, uh, just one thing I can do is if I tell it to quote from a general contact, this will actually create a whole new quote for me to work off of and ignore the customer. It'll clear the customer and create a quote, and then I can convert that quote into a customer invoice if I want to at another time. But there is no concept of a pick list inside of Parts Fetch. It, it is literally working with the business system to add items to and from the, the invoices and service tickets. So to start with, I'm going to select the, the vendor that I want to work with, the year, the, the type of, of unit that I want to work with, the model number that I want to look at, and the assembly that I want to actually take a look at. From here, I have, by pointing to the icon or, or to the part number, I can see not only the description of the item, I can see the customer-specific pricing as well as how many of them I have on, on hand. Now, in addition to that, if I happen to add, let's just add this part to the, the invoice, this actually opens the business system, Lizzie's part add control. So I have access to supersession, cross-reference, NLA, anything else that I may know about that particular item, part-specific notes that may have been added to ask the, the customer if they'd like these other uh, things to, to purchase as well. So I've got access to all of this information that in the past has only been available in the business system. But now I actually have it at the front end when I'm working with the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to add and close the, the control. And one of the things you can see here is that a, a small number one has showed up here to the right and it has color coded this item to immediately notify me that this item is currently on the invoice and there's one of them on the invoice. So it, it gives you immediate feedback as to what you're doing as you go through the illustration. Now, if I were to come down and choose another illustration, and let's say that I wanted to add this particular, and, and all, all of the, the standard processes for zooming and scrolling and all that stuff still apply here. Um, but let's say that I wanted to add this particular part. So we'll just go ahead and select it, tell it to add and close. And so now we've got two items from two different illustrations that are currently being added to the invoice in the background. Now, as I had mentioned a moment ago, I'm on a service ticket and service tickets have jobs on them. So I'm going to close this and let's go over here and take a look at one of these jobs. So this is a unit and this ha has a test job that's been assigned to it. And then you can you also see the items that I added to the system just a few moments ago um, that are not attached to any jobs. But I want to look up a part to have it attached to this specific job. Well, in the past and with every other uh, parts lookup system out there, I would have to open the, the illustration and then go into the year making model and the, and the assembly that I want to work with so that I can add the item to the service ticket. Well, here you can see that as soon as I click the icon from that job, Lizzie has identified what unit is linked to that job and has already selected all of my options here at the top for me. So I don't have to select year making model because Lizzie knows what year making model I was working on so the only thing that I need to do is go in and select the air intake and then come in and tell it I want to add the item to the job now in this specific example when I tell it to add this item 
it still highlights everything just like it did on the in the previous example but when i go over here and look at the the actual job that we're looking at you can see that the items here are actually being added to that job so in real time the system is is figuring out what job we're on what unit we're looking at and what parts we're selecting and putting them in the appropriate places within the business system now a few other options that we have available here if i open parts uh, parts fetch up again you can see that the system remembers everything that i was doing a moment ago so if i happen to close it and reopen it everything will still work um, we also have a history application here that will not only store the units that the customer owns, so if they've purchased a unit from us or they have brought a unit in for service, it gives me a list of units that I can quickly select from to start a parts lookup, and it works just like the service ticket. So if I select an item from this list, it immediately changes all of the detail in the background for that particular item and selects that model number to start doing a parts lookup for. So again, it, it saves a, a tremendous amount of time having to continuously go in and select your make and model over and over and over for every single part and customer that comes in the door now in addition to this we can also open up some advanced search where I can look for specific model numbers for specific item numbers uh, so it or a, a vendor order code so it gives me the ability to not only use the your make and model drop list but to also do advanced searches where I can put wildcard characters in and try to find the, the item in a number of different ways now, in addition to this, we can also come over here to the item list itself, and you'll notice parts fetch icons on the individual item. So the, the, the items that Lizzie has identified linked to a particular model and have where used data, I can actually select that, and Lizzie will open up a list of model numbers and assemblies, and in this case, that part was only used on one assembly, so it has automatically selected the assembly for me. Now in, in, in this case where the parts used on four or five different assemblies, the system will only show me the model numbers and assemblies that are relative to that part. So during this lookup process, I'm not having to be bothered with a bunch of things that don't pertain to that particular item. So it, it gives you the ability to very quickly look at where you use. Perhaps a customer comes in with a part to get, but then he says, you know, I need the, the, the clutch assembly that goes with this part. Well, the only thing he handed you was a part, and so this gives you a, a really quick way to, to go in and look that item up uh, so that you can find the assembly. So there are, you know, a few other features and stuff in here. I just wanted to give a, a really quick overview of what parts fetch is, what makes it different from everything else that's out there on the market. And if you're interested in, if you're one of uh, Lizzie customers and you're interested in getting the product, uh, contact uh, us at our sales office. And if you happen to be a vendor uh, viewing this, please contact us because we'd love to add your information for your dealers um, so that they can get access to the, the parts lookup data in line and, and no more updates or anything like that to, to worry with.